one new on this you hit it you Australia look at this I'm bringing it back home baby he's got good skills but good is not enough you can be great Alexander Volkanovsky at golden distance what a fight what a fight uh, Fight fans, welcome back to Luxury Tainment. Alexander Volkanovsky announced that he is the official backup for the UFC lightweight title fight on reserve in case either Charles Oliveira or Islam Makhachev pull out. Volkanovsky, who holds the featherweight title, said that he's been medically cleared to fight from a hand injury and that the UFC is keeping him on reserve in case either Charles Oliveira or Islam Makhachev were to pull out of their vacant championship bout later this month. Oliveira and Makhachev are scheduled to fight in the main event of UFC 280, which is set to take place in October in Abu Dhabi. Volkanovski told Luxutainment, we're locked in as a backup fighter. I've been calling it, I've said it, I want it. Just had to make sure the hand was all good. So we're all good. We're locked in and we got the clearance to fight. Volkanovski, 25 wins, one loss in MMA, 12 wins, zero losses in the UFC, said he's healing well from his broken hand, an injury he sustained in his trilogy fights against Max Holloway back at UFC 276 in July. He said doctors told him he should be good to fight and the 34-year-old already has begun training. Volkanovski is unbeaten in his UFC run. His only professional defeat came in 2013 when he competed in a welterweight tournament at Australian Fighting Championship. He's currently on an impressive 23 fight unbeaten streak, which includes victories over featherweight greats such as Holloway, which was three times, Jose Aldo, Chad Mendes, Chan Sung Jung, and Brian Ortega. Let's take a closer look at a potential matchup with Alex Volkanovsky and Islam Makhachev. Volkanovsky is doing undeniably great things. The Aussie hasn't lost since 2013 and the 5'6 competitor was competing at welterweight. He's won 20 in a row since, including 10 inside the octagon, defeating a majority of his division's all-time great fighters in the process. Volkanovski is respected, but more praise is deserved. Before getting into his physical skills, it must first be mentioned that Volkanovski's greatest asset might just be his mind. You won't find a more determined and intelligent competitor. Volkanovski is an incredibly smart fighter in a sport where length and range are top priority. Volkanovski makes it a habit of outstriking taller men though his long reach does help in this regard. Unlike many pressure fighters, there is a great deal of craft in how Volkanovski closes the distance. He's a far better ring cutter than most, inching forward behind active feints and head movement. While forcing the action, Volkanovski keeps his feet beneath him and he does not present his opponents an easy target. Volkanovski's success often begins with his educated lead hand. Early on, Volkanovski will be sticking stiff jabs to the chest and nose of his opponent. Feints a key here, as is the fact that the threat of Volkanovski's right hand following the jab is very real. Standing one's ground and trying to counter that jab is a risky proposition at best. There are several tricks to how Volkanovski sets up the lead hand aside from merely feinting actively. For one, Volkanovski often likes to bring his right shoulder forward, squaring up his chest a bit. Squaring up is often considered a general no-no, but from his position, Volkanovski is presenting his foe the threat of the right hand. He can also throw the left hook from this position and Volkanovski will occasionally hook off the jab in general. 
The right hand is certainly Volkanovsky's money punch. And again, there's a lot that goes into creating those big connections. Of course, sometimes it's as simple as following the jab with a cracking overhand and putting his foe on the canvas. Ernst Holloway, Aldo, and most recently, Ortega. Volkanovski did a tremendous job of diffusing the kickboxers with kicks, jabs, and counter punches. Volkanovski's distance kickboxing is winning huge fights. In part, this is because Volkanovski understands that as the short man, it's imperative that he makes full use of his distance weapons. Volkanovski does his best wrestling along the fence. He's something of a wood chipper with his dirty boxing and clinch strikes, which definitely makes it easier to hide a takedown attempt. Often Volkanovski has been able to overwhelm opponents with the classic double leg along the cage, provided they're feeling the punishment from his close range offence. Islam Makhachev is clearly an elite talent, but despite UFC's best efforts, he has yet to face a top 10 ranked fighter with a full camp behind him. Fights with Rafael Dos Anjos and Benil Darouche have failed to materialize, forcing men like Dan Hooker and Bobby Green to step in on short notice. Ultimately, Makachev can only beat up the men who make it into the cage with him, and he's constantly done just that. Islam Makachev does not often look to keep the fights on the feet, however, he is not incompetent there, though his game is rather meat and potatoes. Fighting from the southpaw stance, Makachev's best weapon is very obviously his left leg. Despite being a lifelong wrestler more than anything else, he's able to throw strong left kicks while relaxed. Which tends to mean his kicks come quickly, he's often taking advantage of facing orthodox opponents, so his round kick requires little setup to be a major threat to the liver or head. In addition to mixing up his targets, Makachev will stab up the middle with a left front kick. Islam Makachev's boxing is a bit stiffer. He's grown more confident and comfortable over the years, but he still prefers short exchanges. Fortunately, Makachev does understand the value of a good feint, as he's always showing his opponent the jab. On occasion, he'll actually pop one. Makachev unsurprisingly does more of his work with his left hand. He mostly throws it straight to the chin or body, often following a jab feint. In addition, Makachev does a nice job of mixing in the occasional left hook around the guard rather than just firing straight. Makachev's best setup is clearly his feint towards the lead leg with his right hand or even his head. As his opponent attempts to pull the leg away from a potential shot, their head comes forward directly into his overhand. Russian and world champion in combat sambo. A tremendous portion of Makachev's fights are spent with the Dagestani fighters in top control. He draws comparisons to his training partner, Khabib, and it's not without reason. The two share several of the same strategies, even if there are important differences as well. In regard to the comparisons to Khabib's wrestling, their approaches to taking the opponents down are quite different. Khabib's was all about suddenly closing the gap with great shots before finishing along the fence, whereas Makachev, it's all about tricks and craft. He's simply tremendous from the upper body clinch. To conclude, Volkanovski is an incredible athlete with an incredible skill set and brilliant mental game. Quite simply, he's one of the best to ever do it. And those skills are going to be on display versus another dangerous finisher. But Islam Makachev, in my opinion, beats Volkanovski. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and have a great day.
Ludo again.